Okay, Troy, uh, here's what I was uh, trying to uh, show you on my telescope here. Here's the back of my Mead 12 inch uh, Schmidt Cassegrain. I've already removed the cover, exposing the uh, threads where the uh, focuser would screw onto. And sitting here on the arm is my uh, Moonlight uh, Crayford focuser and the Mead 12 inch F 6.3 focal reducer. Obviously, this doesn't fit. Uh, you know, as it is right here. But on my uh, Crayford focuser, it's kind of hard for me to do this one-handed, but if I turn it over upside down, so now we're looking at the internal threads. This is the part that threads into the back of the telescope. And you'll notice also in the tube down here, this other tube, I'm hoping you can see this, this tube is threaded as well. And that is where I screw in my focal reducer. So this just drops down right in here. Again, kind of hard to do one-handed, but there it catches the threads. That screws in there. And now, uh, as you can see, the focal reducer is setting there and it stays in the same, stays the same distance from your camera because it's actually connected to the tube on the back side that the uh, camera would be attached to so your focus doesn't change there and this just screws on as you would normally screw on your uh, focuser on the back which is virtually impossible for me to do one-handed here while I'm holding the camera and the focuser but anyway, uh, I hope that kind of explains uh, what we were discussing on the post on Facebook and uh, maybe helps you out Maybe check your Crayford focuser and see if that internal tube in there is also threaded. I'm pretty sure you have the same type of focal reducer that I do. And if that's the case, it may just thread right in there. Anyway, give it a try. Let me know.